Hello, my name is Benjamin Budierski. I'm agricultural economist working at Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, looking at the future of the agro-food system. In the 1970s, uh, scientists came up with ideas how to feed cosmonauts in outer space without agriculture. Uh, the basic idea was you could also, instead of feeding them crops, feed them microbes which didn't use any agricultural land. And those microbes you could produce outer space just using energy and a bit of nitrogen fertilizer. Today we have a different problem. Agricultural production is increasing every year and requires more space. Uh, so in order to increase cropland areas, we cut down our forests and we intensify the areas using more and more fertilizer. This also leads to increasing greenhouse gas emissions from the agricultural sector. In uh, our study, we wanted to investigate um, how large the potential is for this technology to emerge in reality. And also we wanted to investigate what are the environmental consequences this may have. And we found that feeding already small quantities um, of microbial protein to animals, replacing soybeans and also cereals, had quite positive impacts on uh, reducing global deforestation, on reducing nitrogen pollution to aquatic systems, and also in uh, reducing global greenhouse gases. In the end, it turns out that um, the technology would have largely positive consequences on the environment, but at the same time its potential is also limited because you cannot replace all food products um, with the microbial protein and also for feed you need different ingredients and microbial protein can just be one of them. Uh, however, there are also other um, options we have to create a sustainable agricultural system. Moreover, every consumer could also play a role by eating more fruits and vegetables and reducing his animal consumption a bit. And um, another very important part is that we all reduce our household waste, which is still a very considerable share of agricultural production.